What is going on, Bill Wise Guy here. Today we're going to be going over some uh, tuples and uh, we're going to be covering uh, destructuring of tuples and also, I guess, uh, structuring of tuples. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, so, the f so basically, first of all, let's start off with what is a tuple? A tuple is simply a, a tuple is simply a container that can uh, that can contain multiple different data types, uh, and there is no limit. So a tuple, in a very simple way, is kind of like an array, except it doesn't have to have one specific type in it. Tuple syntax is denoted in Rust by using these braces here, kind of like our function parameters. For example, we can say let my underscore tuple. So it's 1p, and we'll say let that equal to k, and then we'll say also let's put a number 45 in there, just like that. So we'll go ahead and we'll save this, and as I like to do always, um, we will go ahead and we'll build this, and I don't know what's in that terminal, so I'm going to close it, and uh, we'll say show in file manager, and we'll go open in terminal, and we'll say uh, cargo run. And as you can see, we got a warning because we didn't use it, but that's cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this and I'm just going to keep the terminal somewhere around there for now for us. All right. So <clears throat> there's a basic, uh, the basic usage of a tuple is uh, Rust provides us with uh, what's called uh, tuple indexing syntax. So tuple indexing syntax allows us to access an individual element of, uh, of the container, our tuple. So for example, let's just say we wanted to print line... Um, I don't know, let's just say we want to print line the letter K. So let's make up a little string here. We'll say um, our tuple contains the um, letter, and then we'll say like this, and we'll do our, uh, we'll do our um, string replace thing right there. And then the parameter that we're gonna take in here since we wanted to replace the letter K is my underscore tuple, just like this, and then we'll say dot zero. So we want element zero. So what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and we'll save that. And let's go back to our, um, our console here and we'll say cargo run. And as you can see, we've got the output in the console. It says our tuple contains uh, the letter K. So just to prove that this works for all the elements, what we'll do is we'll just quickly copy and paste this. And we'll change this to uh, number. So we'll say number. And we'll change the index to position one. Uh, so just if you haven't already realized, tuples are zero indexed like arrays in Rust. So we'll go back and we'll just say cargo run. And as you can see, we get our tuple contains the letter K and then we get our tuple contains uh, the, um, and I've misspelled tuple there, but our tuple contains the number 45. So another really cool feature of tuples in Rust is that they can be destructured. So if you think about what that really means is, well, a tuple is kind of like a structure. So we can have, you know, we might have like 40, 435 and then we might have, you know, F and then we might have, I don't know, another underscore object. I don't know what, I don't know exactly what you would be in there, but it doesn't matter, right? This is just an example, a contrived example at that too. So we have this, we have this structure, right? But let's just say, for example, that we wanted to store each one of those things into a variable individually. Well, you know, you could go about that by saying, you know, um, let, uh, you know, var underscore one is equal to, and then we could say my underscore tuple dot zero. And, and we could do that over and over again. And, and that would be kind of slow and painful and tedious. But there's another much faster way and a much cleaner way to declare this. And this is through what's called destructuring syntax. So um, I'm just gonna delete that. So what we're gonna do is, <clears throat> Let's just say we wanted to do, let's just declare two variables. So we'll say let A, and we're going to declare this on the same line, and we're going to declare them uh, by separating them with a comma here. So we'll say let A, B is equal to my underscore tuple, just like this. So we'll go ahead and save this, and well, let's go back to our console and build it. So we'll clear the console right now, and we'll say cargo uh, run, and as you'll see, um, Oh, sorry, my bad. So I forgot to put the destructuring syntax around this thing. So uh, this denotes to Rust that we want to destructure our, uh, we want to we want to create two variables by destructuring a tuple. So go ahead and we'll say cargo run, and as you can see, uh, we've got unused variable A, and then we've got unused variable B. And as you'll notice, we've got two separate warnings for those. And the reason is because uh, we've declared two separate variables by destructuring uh, the tuple on the right-hand side of the equals operator. Um, so what we can do now is we can actually print line those. So we can say print 
ln and um, I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna put anything in fancy. We're just say literally the word fancy um, because I don't know what else to put there at the moment. And we'll do our little string replace and then we'll say a uh, and then we'll say print ln and remember to put your macro operator there. So we'll say fancy and uh, we'll do our little string replace again. Question mark like that and we'll say b and okay. So let's go ahead and save and we'll. Uh, hopefully you guys don't get that. Hopefully you bothered to set up your environment properly. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll clear the console. All right, and we'll cargo run. And uh, as you can see here, we've got the exact same uh, output on the right hand side, KN45. Uh, and, and we've also got on the bottom here, we've got fancy is K, which is the same as the first output, and fancy, which is 40 here. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, in the next video, I have absolutely no idea what we're doing, but I'm sure it's something pretty cool as well. Um, in fact, the next thing is, uh, I think it's going to be structures, so um, that should also be a really good tutorial. Um, like, comment, rate, subscribe, all that clickbaity stuff, and uh, yeah, don't forget to check out my new channel. It's going to be hopefully something a little bit less monotone than this is, um, but I'm a little bit sick of the moment. Uh, I love you all very much, and thank you all for my new subscribers. It's been crazy, and I'm sorry I didn't get a video out last week, and yeah, peace.